Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is gonna be a graduation makeup for you guys and I just filmed this and I like this look. You guys are so lucky for this video because when I was graduating high school in 2016 I did not know how to do makeup. It wasn't until a year ago I started getting the hang of makeup but like high school graduation my makeup was trash you guys. My makeup was trash. I'm so glad I'm making this video so you guys could either do this look or make a look similar to this. I really hope you guys like this video. If you're not already subscribed to my channel please subscribe down below and please don't forget to click on the bell that's right next to the subscribe button to receive notifications whenever I post a video. I would love to congratulate everybody that's graduating. Oh my goodness, you just finished one chapter in your life and you're going to another one. Whether you're going to school more or you're just chilling for a while, it doesn't matter. You accomplished so, so much by graduating and I'm so proud of you. Whether I know you or not, it doesn't matter. I'm so proud of you. Keep accomplishing great things. Like your future is bright, bright, bright. Keep accomplishing great things and I'm so proud of you guys. And you know what? I'm excited to graduate in 2020 for college. I hope you guys like this video. And if you do, please give it a big thumbs up and comment down below if you guys like this look. All right, guys, without further ado, let's get started with this video. So I'm gonna start off with the Maybelline Face Studio Primer. You can get this at your local Walmart or Target. And what I'm doing is rubbing it all over my face, rub a dub dub. After I put on primer, I always do my brows next, and this is the Color Mates brow pencil. I got this at Dollar Tree, two for dollar, so definitely check it out. I love Dollar Tree for that. Always get some cheap stuff. I love it. Now that I'm done with filling in my brows, now it's time to clean them up, and I'm using the LA Girl Pro Concealer. In the color toffee i've been using this for years and i i honestly love this concealer this is my first time using this but this is the maybelline super stay foundation it's supposed to last for 24 hours but i did not wear it for that long so i'm not sure but i think the coverage is great so i definitely think you guys should check it out if you guys want to but i love this foundation Don't forget to apply foundation on your neck so that your face can match your neck. Now it's time to highlight my face and I'm going to be using the LA Girl Pro Concealer, the same concealer that I use for my brows. Now I'm going to use this Milani powder to bake my face and it's in the shade medium deep. This is my first time using this as well and I love it because this is kind of a dupe for the Laura Mercier powder. Now it's time to contour and I'm using the Black Radiance contour palette in the shade medium to dark. I've had this palette since 2016 you guys and like it has lasted me this long so I really love it and I also love it because it also has a highlight shape and it's amazing. Right now I'm contouring my nose with the Black Radiance Contour Palette. I don't always contour my nose but I felt like I wanted to today for some reason. Now I'm using the NYX Ultimate Finish Eyeshadow Palette and I absolutely love this palette because the colors are beautiful but I'm using those two colors right now. Now I'm using the darker brown for my crease as well as the outer part of my eye. Thank you. 
Now I'm going to use the same concealer that I've been using throughout the video and I'm just applying it on my lids. I'm not sure what this shade is called but I'm just applying it on my lids. I just love the shade. It's super cute. Like I really do. Now I'm using this gold shade from the e.l.f. Bake Eyeshadow Trio and I'm also applying that on my lids. I'm not a lashes type of girl so that's why I didn't wear it for this video but I decided to show you guys. I got these from Dollar Tree for a dollar and I think they're super cute. Now I'm brushing off the powder that I applied, the Milani powder that I applied and I'm just brushing it off my face. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to purchase an affordable setting spray, but some great dupes are the e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set and the NYX Makeup Setting Spray. Now I'm going to go back to the Black Radiance Contour Palette to use their highlight. For some reason, I totally forgot to apply mascara before I applied my setting spray, but I'm using this mascara from e.l.f. And now I'm applying some Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm because I didn't want to wear lipstick. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and comment down below. And if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe down below. Okay guys, bye!